All right, let's get this party started. It's only gonna take us a couple minutes. It's pretty easy. We are incorporating this new GFCI outlet into an existing light switch circuit here. Um, in order for us to do that, we're gonna need to make a couple pigtails and prepare this wire. I am um, stripping off the outer sheathing of the white wire, the black wire here, about a half inch or so of the hot side of our circuit or the line side or uh, <laughs> the side that the electricity is gonna be coming in on. Uh, once you do that, go ahead and take some needle nose pliers Take your grounding wire of your hot side and uh, incorporate that into a push connect. Uh, you, can, you can use a wire nut if you want, but we like push connects because you can see if you have a good connection or not. Now, in order to do this install, we're gonna need to make a couple pigtails. We'll show you how to do that in a second. But you're gonna need some scrap wire. So just go ahead and get some scrap, white wire, black wire, uh, copper, just bare grounding wire of the same gauge wire that's in the wall that you're working with now. Um, once you do that, go ahead and take the other grounding wire that's in your same circuit already and add that to the push connect. So you should have two copper grounding wires in the same push connect right now. Once you do that, uh, go ahead and grab a spare piece of uh, grounding wire that we just made from our scrap wire <laughs> that we cut up and insert that into the push connect with some needle nose pliers. Um, we're basically making a pigtail. That's what this sucker is. Uh, once you have it inserted, go ahead and grab you some wire strippers and uh, just at, make a hook at the other end of that grounding wire. Now, what I mean by hook is just like a J, like the letter J. Um, we are gonna be wrapping this little hook around the green uh, <laughs> grounding screw in our GFCI outlet. It's kind of out of frame right now. It's gonna come in frame here in a second, but uh, I'm just adding that hook around that green screw there at the top of the frame. And once you do that, screw it down with a handheld screwdriver, or for me, I'm using a hammer drill. <laughs> Whatever you want to use to screw that sucker in there, that's fine. Um, once you do that, we're gonna add a couple more push connects. So I'm adding a push connect to the hot side of that neutral wire. And I'm also going to add a push connect to the black wire of the hot side. <laughs> so, so far, now we have three uh, push connects kind of being incorporated here. Um, after that, go ahead and take your uh, neutral wire of the load side. So this is, the load side just means the other wires that exist in your box that the electricity is not coming in on, but passing through to. Uh, so once you do that, go ahead and grab a spare piece of uh, neutral wire and we're going to be incorporating that into our GFCI outlet there. Um, the side that it goes on is the side that has the silver colored screws. So silver means neutral wire and they call neutral wire is also the white wire. Uh, and the other side of that is going to have some bronze colored wires. We'll get to it in a second, but uh, go ahead and strip off if you haven't already. Uh, about a half inch or so of the uh, neutral wire we just incorporated there and insert that into a push connect. So, so far what you have here is three neutral wires into a push connect. Now take the scrap piece of black wire you made and insert that into your outlet on the bronze colored screw side and screw that sucker in there with your hammer drill. You just gotta trust me that that's the side it is. My hand's covering it up. Uh, once you do that, just strip off about a half inch or so of the other side of that scrap wire and insert that into the push connect with the hot wire. Now we're gonna be jumping over to our switch. Uh, believe it or not, we're almost done. The only thing we need to do is add a couple more pigtails, starting with the grounding wire with some scrap bare copper. Uh, go ahead and add that to the green screw and screw it on with a good old hammer drill. Once you do that, of course, we're gonna insert it into a push connect, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, and now we're gonna take that uh, one remaining black wire left side or the non-hot side of our little circuit here and we're going to insert that into a bronze colored screw on the side of our switch. Uh, switches only have bronze colored screws and it doesn't matter if you put it on the left or the right side unless it's a three-way switch and for us it's not. Uh, the last thing that we need to do is add another pigtail 
of some black wire. This is gonna go on the other bronze screw of our switch, <laughs> doesn't matter. And then if you guessed, we're gonna take that little pigtail and add it to the push connect, you were right. So yeah, just go ahead and take your needle nose pliers and add that to the hot side push connect. And believe it or not, that's pretty much it. All right, so basically we got it all wired in. It's time for the moment of truth. Do these lights actually work? And how bright are these two recessed lights? Now, is it also true I already tested to make sure that it worked before I filmed this? Yes. <laughs> so they work. This is like a, it's like an outlet tester and it lets you know if it's wired correctly and if it's like an open ground, if there is no ground, you know, etc. Whatever. And basically you want these, you have these two lights, you want these lit up. Some of one of them, if it was wired incorrectly, for example, just one of the lights would be lit or this far red light over here, it's not lit, but it would be lighting some random stuff like that. So cool. Now you know how to do that and uh, take your time. If you don't trust yourself, hire a professional because electricity is dangerous. Been here a good 70 hours, no sleep, no food, no crank. And uh, that's the real problem there. Uh, every time I ask Danny if I can get a little hit, a little bowl pack, gets real upset with me. I really don't know how much more of this I can take. He's, he's asking me to roll this here plumber's putty. At this point, I'm, I'm thinking about eating it, see if it'll give me a buzz or something like that. But send help, man. <laughs> God damn it, quit making me look bad on film.